In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to use the scroll saw. Um, so the scroll saw is particularly useful for cutting like thin pieces of wood. You can cut thicker pieces of wood about, um, I guess, the size of, of the blade right here. Um, but you want to normally keep it to thin pieces. Um, the scroll saw is also really good at cutting curvy lines. So if while you're cutting, you need to move the wood around like this and, and kind of make some curves in it, um, that's really what it's meant for. Um, so first let's get into how you're gonna set up the scroll saw and then I'll show you how to cut, how, you, how you're gonna approach a cut. All right, so before you um, make any cuts, you wanna make sure that the machine is all set up for you. Um, so one of the very first things you want to do um, is make sure that the blade is tight. So there's a little knob back here. Um, this thing, if you untighten it, it allows you to change the blade. Um, but you want to make sure that when you're cutting, it's not loose at all. So definitely check this before you do anything else. Um, make sure that the blade is, is really tight in there. You don't want to over tighten it, but you know. Um, Ask somebody if you have a question about it, especially if it's loose. Okay, the next thing you want to do um, is adjust this guide right here. So this little guide, it looks like two prongs kind of sticking out. Um, it both protects your hand somewhat from the blade in case an accident happened, um, but it also pushes down on the material that you're going to be cutting. If you look closely at the blade, you'll notice that the teeth are pointing down. Um, so every time the saw goes up and down, it's, it's doing the cutting on the downstroke. Um, and then on the upstroke, it's not cutting. And you don't really want the saw to be like pushing your material up in the air. Um, so that's what this guide is for right here. Um, so to make sure it's in the right place, you can adjust it with this little red knob here. So unscrew that and just lower it down until it's touching, just barely touching your material. And then tighten that guy down. Um, and that's gonna help you out a lot. Like when you're doing your cut, it'll, it'll make sure your material is down um, in the right spot. Now we have the machine set up um, for our material. We have the guide in place. Um, we know that the blade is tight in there. Um, and then we can turn it on. So to turn on the machine, there is a little switch right here that'll turn it on and off. To the right of that is a little knob that controls the speed. So turning it to the right makes it go faster, turning it to the left makes it go slower. Um, in general, if you're trying to make more precise cuts, you'll want to turn it slower. If you're trying to get through things faster, um, you'll want to turn it, make it go faster or turn the speed up. <laughs> um, one thing to consider though is the faster that you go, um, it's gonna generate more heat. So if you're cutting something like a plastic, it can melt, it can start melting the plastic, especially with acrylic materials. Um, so with that in mind, let's just set it to about a medium speed. And when I'm cutting a piece of wood, and this is, this is probably the most important part, um, you wanna keep your hands out of out of the way of the blade. So there shouldn't be anything directly in front of the blade as you're cutting. So no matter where you're moving the wood, have your hands out of the way of the blade. So in case you slip, your hand doesn't go into the blade. Um, and that's it, it's a pretty easy tool to use. Um, so before we even turn this thing on to make our cut, definitely remember to have your safety glasses on to protect your eyes. And the next most important thing is to protect your fingers as you're cutting. So as you're maneuvering your material into the blade, keep your hands so that the blade is not like, your hands aren't in the, I guess, the line of cutting with the blade. So you'll notice that when I cut, I'll keep my hands like far to the side. And when I'm moving it around, um, there's no chance that my hands can slip and go into the blade. Like if they slip from here, they're gonna go that way, you know, something like that. Um, so the last thing you want to happen is have be like pushing on something here and then your hand fly into the blade. Um, it's just going to hurt a lot. Um, so I think we're ready to go. I generally like to just keep it on like a medium speed and I find that that works pretty good for wood. So let's do it. I'm 
doing a little curvy cut. And that's pretty much all there is to the scroll saw. Um, ask an employee of the Idea Lab how to use it if you're unsure, and have a great day.